Good morning and welcome to your Farm and Home Show. I'm Christy Shive and this morning we're visiting with Latoya Drake. She's the SNAP Program Coordinator for Nutrition, Media, and Marketing. Good morning, Latoya. Good morning, Christy. I've got a good smelling recipe started. Well, it looks delicious, Latoya, and you're always making delicious things for us. What are you making today? So this is a plated up Kentucky Proud recipe that SNAP approved. Uh, so what that means is that's going to be food stamp friendly. It's going to be an inexpensive recipe for serving. And it's the butternut squash and turkey chili. So I've already got my turkey started and it's cooked up. I've got butternut squash. It got, calls for red kidney beans as well as white hominy, which was an interesting uh, ingredient. It also has green chilies, which I also found interesting for a chili. But I've been making this up with this, uh, starting with this butternut squash. Now, Latoya, butternut squash is in season right now. Is that correct? Yeah, it's in season through October in Kentucky. But, you know, the reason this is called a winter squash is not necessarily because it's grown in the winter months, but because it's able to last through the winter uh, when it's harvested. Uh, a butternut squash or other winter squash will last for about three months in a cool place. A long time for a produce item. Yes, that is, that is a long time and truly it's such a delicious way to add some nutrition to a chili. So Latoya, what have you done so far? So this recipe starts with browning the turkey. So I've done that um, and I also browned my onions and I some garlic is what it calls for. I just added the butternut squash uh, to the chili and then I added a cup of chicken broth and I'm going to add the green chilies which give it a nice aroma. It smells like it's gonna have a bit of a kick. Now, Latoya, using ground turkey is a great way to add lean protein. So I'm sure that's going to add a lot of flavor as well as nutrition. Yeah, it is. It's gonna be great. And you know, butternut squash are packed with nutrients. They're packed in the precursors to vitamin A. So it's a great uh, vegetable to get into your system to get that vitamin A. Latoya, there are so many things that the Nutrition Education Program offers, and recipes are, are just a few of them. Right. We also offer education across the state. Uh, many counties have nutrition um, uh, educators who teach classes that are free in your county, and lots of folks don't realize that these uh, resources are available because all of our services are pretty much free. If someone is watching and they would like to get information on these programs, how can they do that? I would suggest starting with contacting your local county extension service in Kentucky uh, to see if they have some programs going on or just to see if you can reach out for resources. Um, that would be the best place to start because even if there's no programs going on, there's still a variety of resources like this butternut squash and turkey chili recipe. So butternut squash, like other winter squash, including spaghetti squash, acorn squash, right? They have thick skins. That's what makes them be able to last through the winter. So to start with the butternut squash, you wanna, um, you can use a potato peeler or a vegetable peeler to peel up, peel the outer skin, or you can cut it in half lengthwise and cook that, uh, fa you know, face down on a baking sheet in your oven. Uh, but they're really tough squash and that's why they last a while and this recipe i've got it pretty much together i'm just adding the last uh tomato sauce that is called for mm. but i've got the red kidney beans and the hominy which is just mm. such an interesting uh ingredient and i'm adding the chili powder and then adding the cumin mm. and salt and then we're good to go this is going to simmer and be tasty with a grilled cheese for dinner Mm, Latoya, it sounds delicious and nutritious, and if you are watching and would like more recipe inspiration, be sure to contact your local extension office. Thanks, mm -hmm. Latoya, for being with us today. I'm sure it smells so good over there. It does. Thank you for having me. All right. Thanks for joining us today on the Farm and Home Show, and we'll see you next time.